I think you're going to someday soon, probably very soon, realize you're wasting your time. It's time to love yourself and just be a little more responsible with your life. You got to get fed up with this kind of life you're living. Yes and no. But I'm definitely sick of wasting, wasting everything that I've been granted, you know what I mean? Yeah, you, you've been granted a lot. And I'm very grateful for it. And I'm ready to return the gratitude and the emblem of complete retribution. So much to make up for. I think loving ourselves comes from the esteem building things that we do in our lives. And you, you haven't done a whole lot of that. You're getting a lot of love from people that see you, you know, know you through these videos. And that's, I'm sure feels good, but that's not going to solve your problem. You need to feel like you deserve it. True. And you're not going to feel like you deserve it if you're just screwing around on the streets. Wasting your life. There's so much more that I'm prepared for, preparing for. I'm just fed up with denying what How do I define it? Denying myself, I suppose, or denying the universe that embodies around me. The kind of experience that, that really is beyond warranted, I suppose, uh, beyond necessary, beyond vindictive. Beyond vindictive. What, what emotions do you feel sometimes when you're by yourself? And I mean, Are you angry? Are you an angry person? Yes and no. I suppose I'm angry at... There's so much in necessity in this life, you know what I mean? So much that shouldn't be happening. So much that needs to be happening. So much that is and isn't.
I would say honestly. It takes losing everything to truly remind you what's worth it, you know? And for what it's worth, come hell and high water, I so passionately want to express the sort of love that that like isn't there, you know what I mean? Like sort of expression of like a complete evolution of beyond karmic integrity, I don't know. Not the least. I think you're just maturing. You're just growing up. <laughs> this is what it looks like for some people. Define. You know, a lot of us, when we were in our early 20s, were belligerent, stubborn, hard-headed, defiant. And eventually, as you your rough edges get rounded out from being knocked around by life, I wouldn't say it's conforming, but you, you just become a little more in line with how the world works. That's not how the world works. I'm sorry? That's not how the world works. It's not the sort of world that... I'm just really ready for what's coming, I think. There's a big world out there. Huge. What kind of things do you think you might be ready for?
Definitely ready to transition to It's not just about being more myself, but I'm definitely ready for my transition. I think that's the perfect uh that I feel more like uh, Perfect page zero, I suppose. You know, you just throw yourself at life and then you surprise what you get back, I guess. Be surprised what I don't want to say what you truly deserve, but you know. I've made enough mistakes to know to know how to fix things, I think. I think you're intelligent enough and creative enough and clever enough to do anything you want to do. That's true in a sense, but there's something, part of me that's holding me back. Don't know if it's my dysmorphia with my body or just how I, I always knew that this sort of moment would come a day like this. It's a perfect day for it. Perfect conversation, I'd say. Or I can just... Make up for lost time, I guess. You're only 26. <laughs> you missed your birthday. Lauren and I went looking for you in West Hollywood. On your birthday, we couldn't find you. I did miss my birthday. I was... I don't know if I wanted to kill myself or die or... I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me. I was all alone, I was so miserable. I have no clue why. I told you to meet me at my studio downtown. I'm gonna take you to West Hollywood. You would have had fun. Doesn't mean I can't know, but you're right. It's like I'm torn, sort of. There's a part of me that... I want to say wishes I were better off dead, but... You wouldn't be better off dead. I think I say this about you a lot. I think there's a fine line between genius and crazy. And you go back and forth all the time. We all have a calling, I guess. I'm just done with the false platitudes of misgiving, like I'm like 
Like, and be real as fuck, you know what I mean? And then sometimes it's like, I need to start over. In a sense. Plenty of people start over at much older ages than you. No, I mean, I'm sort of ready for my... Uh... So I think I'm some more than a comeback. Sorry, you just caught me on that. The sort of day that can go from bad to fan-fucking-tastic and just like that. Feel like you're wasting time? In a sense, yes. In a sense, no. It's definitely made me more focused on what needs to be done. I've definitely I've wasted enough time to know that I can reclaim it, in a sense. Reclaim lost passion. Do you feel like I'm wasting your time? Well, I mean, you're 26. A lot of people in their 20s waste a lot of time. That's what the 20s are for. You're, just, you're figuring yourself out. I don't even, like, this isn't... I don't want to say this isn't me, but this is not... I don't know. I 
I know I have so much more passion in life in me. I got some. Definitely have a lot to make up for, I'd say. But I'm very grateful for every little thing, for everything. It's good to have it's good to have regrets sometimes. It motivates you. Definitely. To change. It's not regret, it's um to change. To revise, I guess. Because you you have plenty of talent. You're very creative, all that you have there's no question about that. But if you're not motivated, that talent gets wasted. I have it in me, and I do have the motivation, I'm just... It's like wasting it all feeling fucking sorry for myself, or I know being expected to feel beyond apologetic. Do you think talking any of this stuff out with a therapist would be helpful? I don't need therapy, I need life. I need excitement and intensity. What I really, really want is validity, I don't know. A lot of people out there think they know what it's about, you know what I mean, but you know what saying practice makes perfect?
from malas to alas or from alas to malas. You're figuring it out. I know what it's about. But... Feels like someone's missing. Feels like someone's missing. 